Okay, so uh, quick video, a uh, bit of physics fun on a Thursday afternoon. Um, I've just got a very large measuring cylinder, um, a clear piece of plastic pipe and a balloon uh, inflator to pump a bit of air in. Um, and then what we're going to see is what happens when I pump the air in. Now, what we're really looking for is, is that as the air bubbles rise, I'm trying to see if there's a change in pressure in the water, because my theory is, is that if you're here in the water, there's a certain pressure due to all the molecules. And then as you go further and further and further down, the weight of the water presses down on you. So the theory is, is that the bubble that starts out here will get larger at the top. Let's see if we can make it work. Now there is a cool thing you could do. If the bubbles go a bit fast on YouTube, you can half the speed of the video and see it in slow motion. You can also look at measuring the... Uh, the dimensions of the bubble and what I'll do is I'll put a scale on the YouTube video and the information about what's my length here and what's my width because at the moment there's no scale so here we go let's try air bubble that looked pretty good little they're definitely getting larger let's try again that really got bigger didn't it same again now what's interesting is how you're almost getting a half moon bubble you're not getting a round bubble there we go Bigger and a couple more. Just a bit of fun, really. So surprising what you can do. That was a good one. Just a little bit of basic equipment. Now, of course, if you were a diver and you were travelling um, from the depths of the ocean higher up, this could be really dangerous. So this idea is what gives you the bends. So it's gas that's dissolved in your blood. And uh, as you rise and the pressure decreases, the gas bubbles get bigger and they can cause terrible pain. They call it decompression sickness or the bends. So there we are, another video, bit of physics fun.